game day. Mm -hmm. Did you have a, a routine? Did you go anywhere? And oh, I absolutely. The, okay, what was it? We played games back at, I think it was 7 o'clock. Yeah. I'd probably leave my house 12, 12.30. Go get a healthy lunch, probably at a drive through What was the number? Uh, Wendy's, number <laughs> one. Wendy's, McDonald's, you name it. Quarter pounder? No, I was two cheeseburgers, oh. large fry guy, and then I ordered an extra cheeseburger because I was trying to gain weight. Yeah, three. I'd go with the three cheeseburgers. <laughs> That's not even a number. No. You're ordering off the board. Off the board, an extra burger. <laughs> okay. But, uh, and then I'd come here, and, and to me, the funnest part for me was just hanging in here with the guys. Right. Like, I would get up. I wouldn't work out here at the stadium. I'd get up early in the morning, go work out, like, 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning, get home, you know, before the kids went to school. Then uh, I would take a little nap or whatever, and then uh, and then go to the games. And then I'd be here like 12:30, 1 o'clock, and hang out with the clubhouse guys. How about breakfast? Did you ever go out to breakfast? Do you now? Uh, no. No. Home. No. Yep. Make your own. Make my own. <laughs> if if putting cereal in a bowl is making your own, yeah, then okay. I made my own. What kind of cereal? Where do you go? I was a Lucky Charms guy. <laughs> And Either Frosted Flakes, flakes yeah. or Lucky Charms. Whoa. Straight sugar. Sugar? Yeah. No fruit? What's fruit? <laughs> <laughs> I won't even ask if it was 2% milk. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Whole milk. Yeah. Tell me about the egg salad sandwich at Jason's Deli. Oh, yeah. Shake. Yeah. 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 I love Does that. some homework here, man. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's really good. What? I used to go there quite a bit with my wife, and uh, it was kind of like an off-the-item mm -hmm. menu where the guy yeah. would, he'd see me walk in, and I, and when you're going good, you go right back to the to the well, and I kept, you know, I keep going back and getting it. So, do you have a hole in the wall joint that you go to? That's your place. I do. Okay, what I is do. it? I do. It's called La Fonda. Okay. It's a little Mexican place yeah. on uh, Scottsdale Road in Shea. Mm -hmm. I love it. What would you get? Uh, the fajitas. My son and I, and well, our whole family goes there. We love the chips and salsa. The chips come out real hot. The salsa is incredible, and then uh, we get steak fajitas. And really, we just eat the steak and then just soak it in lime and, oh, and salt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm and then they have the chicken too. I'm so hungry. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> How about if you're gonna go a, a little five-star dining with your wife? Oh man, you know I love Fogo de Chao. I love it, especially when our kids were younger. It's a 30-minute in and out. Mm. You can get in there. <laughs> sit down, have a great meal, and you're out of there. It's not like you got to sit around and wait for your food and everything. Mm -hmm. You flip the card. You get in there, you're eating a quality meal, and everybody's getting what they want. It's not like you're in the car driving, and you go, where do you want to eat? Where do you want to eat? <laughs> Everybody knows what they want there. Everybody has their favorite. Do you have a slice of frozen pizza from Streets of New York in your fridge right now as we're talking? No, I don't. I don't. No. I don't. I'm not really a cold food eater. Okay, so you we don't have a lot of there. leftovers, and yeah, we try to crush it and then <laughs> let it go. What kind of pizza do you like there? Oh, man, I have the pepperoni. Sometimes the olives, put olives on it. Thin crust? Absolutely. Okay, good. I've had thick before, like when I played in Chicago and all that, so. It's a lot of bread. It is, but I love bread. My dad was a baker when I was a kid. I knew that. I don't know if I've ever asked you this. It's been a while, but have you ever paid for a drink in this town since November 4th, 2001? <laughs> I can't imagine you... I mean, that's what, that's that's part of the spoils of See, victory, the, right? the thing with me is I, and my wife and I, we kind of have a thing where... We're very appreciative to people and what we have. Mm -hmm. And I always walk out of a place, like if somebody gives me something, I probably pay twice for it on the tip on the way out. Yeah. So I tell my wife, I go, you know, it, it's awesome that we're able to do that, but we probably paid double. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, uh, yeah. $10 yeah. meal, we yeah. paid, yeah. we yeah. gave 50 bucks. Right. And you know, the next thing you know, it's, well, but that makes you feel good. Cause you know, and you know, there's people working hard every single day. I know this because you, you let me share in this experience, but where would you go here to get a Cuban coffee? Can you? Not anymore. Right? There's really not a place anymore. My heart is still palpitating. Yeah, it should have been. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was high, oc this <laughs> high octane drinking yes. Cuban coffee. Yes. My, my lasting memory of that is that when we drove around the extra two hours that you gave us that day, everywhere you went, you were Louie. Is there anywhere you can go here that you're Louie? You oh, I mean, there's places I've go here that I've been caught a lot worse than Louie, believe me. <laughs> but that was affectionately, because you, you weren't the baseball player. No, I, you're, you were the guy, the kid. I honestly believe that sometimes I go places and people call me Gonzo, and they don't really know my name. <laughs> yes. I feel like the Muppet character sometimes. <laughs>
You still get Juan Gonzalez cards sent to you? To oh, sign? man, that's that's a sore subject with my mom. So yeah. she's very proud of, so. Should be you. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were both in Texas at the same time. He was with the Rangers, and I was with the Astros, so. But you know what? I've been blessed. I've, you know, I've been fortunate to do something that I love to do. I've been given an opportunity to come back and be a part of an organization that's meant so much to me and my family. I love it. I just, I'm a people person. I am who I am. I don't, I don't hold myself above anybody else. You know, what you see is what you get, and that, that's, that's the way I live my life every single day. If it's a reality show, then maybe it would be, but my kids are all gone now, so I'll just be a boring guy now after they're all gone. Nah. You, you are the real deal, the one and only. You just give me chills. That's real. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't need anything else. That was awesome. Appreciate man. it.